I was chatting with the CEO of Anthropic, Dario Madan, so be, behind Claude, and that company, but a lot of a, a lot of the AI companies are really focused on expanding the scale of compute. Sort of, if we assume that AI is not data limited, but is compute limited, you can make the system much more intelligent by using more compute. So let me ask you on the almost on the physics level, do you think physics can help expand the scale of compute and maybe the scale of energy required to make that compute happen? Yeah, a hundred percent. I think this is like one of the biggest things that physics can help with. And it's an obvious kind of low hanging fruit situation where uh, the heat generation, the inefficiency, the waste of existing high level computers is nowhere near the efficiency of our brains. It's hilariously worse. And we kind of haven't tried to optimize that hard on that frontier. I mean, your laptop heats up when you're sitting on your lap, right? It doesn't need to, your brain doesn't heat up like, like that. Um, so clearly there exists in the world of physics, the capability of doing these computations with much less waste heat being generated. And I look forward to people doing that, yeah. Are you excited for the possibility of a nuclear fusion? I am cautiously optimistic, excited to be too strong. I mean, it'd be great, right? But if we really tried solar power, it would also be great. <laughs> I think Elias Discover said this, that the future of humanity on Earth will be just it, the entire surface of Earth is covered in solar panels and data centers. Why would you waste the surface of the Earth with solar panels? Put them in space. Sure, you can go in space, yeah. Space is bigger than the Earth. <laughs> yeah, just solar panels everywhere. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I like it. We um, already have fusion. It's called the sun. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, and there's probably uh, more and more efficient ways of catching that energy. Sending it down is the hard part, uh, absolutely. But yeah. um, that's an engineering problem, yeah. So I, I just wonder where the data centers, the compute centers can expand to if that's the future. If AI is as effective as it promise, as it possibly could be, then it's the scale of computation will keep increasing. But perhaps it's a race between efficiency and, and uh, scale. There are constraints, right? You know, there's yeah. a certain amount of energy, a certain amount of damage we can do to the environment before it does not worth it anymore. So yeah, I think that's a new question. In fact, it's it's kind of frustrating because we get better and better at doing things efficiently but we invent more things we want to do faster <laughs> than we get good at doing them efficiently. So we're continuing to make things worse in various ways. I mean, that's the, that's the dance of humanity. We're, yeah. we're constantly creating uh, better, better, better technologies that are potentially causing a lot more harm. And that includes for weapons, includes AI used as weapons, that includes nuclear weapons, of course, which is surprising to me that we haven't destroyed human civilization yet, given how many nuclear warheads are out there. Look, I'm with you. Between nuclear and bioweapons, uh, it is a little bit surprising that we haven't caused enormous devastation. Of course, we did drop two atomic bombs on Japan, but compared to what could have happened or could happen tomorrow, it could be much worse. Yeah. It does seem like there's an underlying, speaking of quantum fields, there's like a, like a, like a field of goodness within <laughs> the, the human heart that like, in some kind of game theoretic way, we create really powerful things that could destroy each other. And there's greed and ego and all this kind of power hungry dictators that are at play here in all the geopolitical landscape. But we somehow always like don't go too far. Yeah, but that's exactly what you would say right before we went too right far. Right before we went too far. <laughs> and that's why we don't see aliens.